couple felt sad and empty after their cat died. Then they saw him online and everything changed. Boston, Massachusetts woman Christiana Viscusi and her husband, otherwise known as Cat Dad, were heartbroken when they lost their fuzzy feline friend Sophie in mid-2017. However, the empty space in their hearts and home after Sophie passed was happily soon filled. It all began two months later when Viscusi came across her deceased pet's doppelganger while surfing online. Sophie was originally a rescue cat who was saved from an appalling situation where piles of animals in cages were being hoarded together. The three-year-old cat was rescued from her plight and then sheltered by the Animal Rescue League of Boston. It wasn't long before Sophie found a forever home nearby with 40-year-old web designer Viscusi and Cat Dad. The adorable ball of feline fluff made herself perfectly at home with her new adopted family pretty quickly. Sophie soon decided on her favorite spot to sleep, on top of the dresser in Mummy and Daddy's room. Viscusi noted this and bought Sophie her own miniature bed, complete with bed sheets and placed it atop the dresser. While Sophie loved being tucked comfortably up in her bed at night, she also enjoyed the great outdoors. In May 2017, Viscusi told Animal Interest website, When I get home from work, she's waiting at the door and circling me to go outside. We have a routine where we go outside for at least an hour when I get home because I know she's anxiously been waiting all day. It turned out that Sophie wasn't just a hit with her new parents but also a neighbor's cat, Scotty. The male Moggy began just watching Sophie but soon got braver and started following her whenever they went outside together. Scotty's owners thought it was odd since their cat was often standoffish with other felines, yet his relationship with Sophie appeared very close. However, one possible explanation for the relationship presented itself when Viscusi chatted to her neighbors and found out the cats had something in common. They discovered that both Moggies had been rescued from animal hoarders, Viscusi told the dodo. It's very possible they were rescued at the same place and each put in different shelters, but I don't really know. It just makes us wonder. Sophie and Scotty soon became loving friends. Viscusi said, every time we're outside, he runs right over to hang out. In the summer, it's several times a week. If he sees us back in our balcony from his lawn, he comes over and cries up at us, then goes and sits at our back door waiting for us to bring her out. It's really cute. Christiana developed a new interest when she became a self-centered catstagrammer. She set up an Instagram account dedicated to her pet called Sophie Loves Tuna to show off her lovable furball to the world. Over time, the page depicted the highlights of Sophie's adventures with her owner and best pal Scotty. The adorable pictures showed Sophie tucked up in her little bed, posing in knitted hats, taking walks in her harness, and meeting up with Scotty. Unfortunately, the Instagram posts were to take a sad turn in May 2017. Sophie became ill, went off her food, and began vomiting a white foamy liquid. As a result, Sophie was rushed straight to Boston's Angel Animal Medical Center by her very worried parents. Viscusi updated Sophie's Instagram followers to let them know of the stricken cat's progress. Firstly, Sophie would be undergoing emergency surgery. The operation would hopefully remove a foreign object vets found in her small intestine. The procedure reportedly went well, but sadly, fluid in Sophie's lungs resulted in aspiration pneumonia. The desperately ill cat was consequently placed in an oxygen chamber and treated with strong antibiotics. Sophie was monitored closely, but she did not appear to be responding to the drug treatment in the way that the vets hoped. Viscusi was told that if there was no improvement in 24 hours, Sophie's case would be considered critical. But she showed some improvement with the ventilator to help her breathe. But it was when the angel vets attempted to withdraw the sick cat from the apparatus that it became too much. Regrettably, Sophie passed away. Viscusi broke the news to her Instagram followers. I wish this wasn't real. I don't want to tell the world she's gone. I'm heartbroken. Viscusi wanted to thank everyone who had supported her through the pain and those who made donations to help with vet bills. On June 2, 2017, she wrote, There are no words for the sadness it brings me to let all of you know my little angel gained her wings tonight. Everything I did included her, and I'm crushed she's off on a new adventure without me. I cannot begin to thank each and every one of you for your kindness, generosity, and support you've all shown us. What an amazing community this is. 
She also thanked the veterinary medical center that cared for poor Sophie through her illness Viscusi stated on Sophie loves tuna Thank you to the amazing team at Massachusetts Society for the prevention of cruelty to animals Angel did everything they could providing the best round-the-clock care Sophie's Instagram page showed that despite her passing her feline friend Scotty still visited to get consoling belly rubs from cat dad Fans were upset to think of the feline missing his friend one wrote seeing Scotty without Sophie by his side is so sad and heartbreaking and Scotty was not the only one distraught by the sudden loss of Sophie Viscusi and partner both felt the emptiness in their home without that lovely little character that had filled their hearts so the appearance of Louis came as a perfectly timed surprise Viscusi was overjoyed when she spotted him on the online pet finder adoption service She described him as Sophie's brother from another mother. I Knew right away that I had to inquire about him. I saw that he was at the shelter an hour away So I took a chance and emailed them to see if he was still there sure enough He was and we drove down the next day to meet him the couple journeyed along the road to the Pat Brody shelter for cats in Lunenburg, Massachusetts and couldn't wait to meet Louie Viscusi said as soon as we walked in we saw him lounging on a table by a window and cat dad scooped him right up He was so big and fluffy and with his bright amber eyes looking right at us. We instantly loved him The male moggy snuggled up to the couple straight away purring happily that very day Viscusi and cat dad took their new cuddly Persian and Turkish van mix cat back home to Boston Louis settled into his new home readily and it wasn't long before Instagram users who'd been kept abreast of developments by Viscusi were asking a burning question When would the new guy get to meet the neighbors? One Sophie loves tuna follower said poor little Scotty. I hope he finds a new best friend in Louis rest in peace sweet Sophie However, due to Viscusi's landlord putting in new grass and resurfacing the drive, outdoor adventures were strictly out of bounds. Sadly, this meant Louis couldn't meet Scotty right away. For now, Louis is proving to be far from camera shy and is perfectly happy to pose indoors. Whether he's sprawled out on the floor like a melted ball of fur or play biting his mum, the pictures capture it all. The Sophie Loves Tuna Instagram account is still up and running. But now populated with cute pictures of the lovely Louie and updates on his life Sophie may be gone, but she's certainly not forgotten Viscusi still uses the page to remind followers of her adventures with the kitty and memorialize Louie's predecessor